Maine lobstermen say they still don't like proposals for new restrictions to protect right whales. Today, the Commissioner of Marine Resources, Maine's top fishery regulator, announced his final recommendation to the federal government for a plan to protect whales from getting caught in fishing gear. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan has been following the story. He's here now with the latest. Don? Hi, Pat and Cindy. This is a tough issue. More than half a dozen right whales have died at sea this year, mostly in Canadian waters. But the U.S. government says Maine lobstermen need to do more to protect the whales here. Meanwhile, the fishermen say they are not the problem. It's been the government hammer hanging over Maine's lobster fishery for the whole year. The federal government wants to protect endangered right whales and is talking about tough new restrictions on fishing to do it. Fishermen see a threat, holding a big rally in the summer to say they aren't the ones harming right whales because the whales aren't in their waters. But Marine Resources Commissioner Pat Kelleher says a few whales did come to Maine last summer. By Harbor Whale Watch um, had two sightings um, off Mount Desert Rock, way offshore. And Kelleher says Maine has to do something to show we are trying to protect whales from getting caught in lobster gear. We're trying to find a way to alleviate risk while maintaining uh, the prosperity of the industry. Risk to whales? Risk, risk to fish? Both. Both. Because um, once you start talking about changing trawl lengths and adding weak rope, we have to take fisherman safety into account. And I put that as the highest, uh, most important thing that we're dealing with. The plan requires fishermen in deeper waters to put multiple traps on a single long rope line called a trawl. There are already some trawl requirements now, but they would increase. Near the state three mile limit, it would be three trap trawls. That would jump to eight traps, then to 15, and finally beyond 12 miles from shore, 25 trap trawls. Fishermen would also have to add a section of weak rope that can break free if snagged by a whale. And close to shore, Kelleher says, that would be the biggest change. The majority of people who fish inside, um, where 75% of the gear is, they're going to be happy. Fisherman says it still goes too far. Kelleher, meanwhile, says his plan would be a practical answer to federal demands, which he says would be much more harmful. Their tools are blunt. Their tools are large closed areas and large trap reductions. Two things the industry has clearly told me that they don't want. And he says that's why Maine has to do something. Now, Commissioner Kelleher says his plan would reduce the number of vertical lines, those are the ropes that go from the lobster buoys to the traps, by 25 percent. The Maine Lobstermen's Association says it's going to come up with its own proposal, and we'll hear from the federal government some sort of decision later this year.